Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Mathematics Online Class of Grade Nine, Unit Two. What is the topic? The introduction to the Euclid geometry. Before going to this chapter, <coughs> we have to introduce a Euclid geometry. The Greeks developed a geometry in very systematic manner. Three Greek mathematicians, namely Pythagoras. Thales and Euclid contributed a lot on geometry. Okay, Euclid introduced a method of providing mathematical results by using deductive reasoning and the previously proved result. Okay, the geometry of a plane figure is known as Euclidean geometry, and it is a famous book that is Elements. It contains thirteen chapters and results on geometry, and it contains a wonderful results on geometry. Okay, now we can learn a basic geometrical concepts. That is, a Euclid definitions, axioms, theorems, and postulates. Okay, one by one we can learn step by steps. So let us discuss Euclid definitions. The first one is point. What do you mean by point? A point is a exact position or location. Or you can take one dot. This dot is represented as a point. Okay. This we can denote a point as capital letters like A or B or C or etc. Okay, you can you have to denote a point as capital letters A, B, C, or etc. Okay, the next second one line segment. Already you know what you mean by line segment. A line segment contains both starting point and ending point. Correct? See here. So this is the starting point. It is A, and the ending point B. Okay, see so here it is a path between the line segments. So here A is a starting point, B is a ending point. Okay, the next one ray. A ray means what? A line segment. Take one example. This is a line segment AB. Correct? A line segment AB. At one end, any one end, you can take starting point or ending point. Any one direction is extend infinitely. Extends infinitely. Okay. Then that type of lines we can call it as rays. Okay. If we can denote it as a b ray. Okay. The next one line. A line is also the same, but here on both the ends we can extend indefinitely. Okay, the line. Line is a line segment A B. A B is a line segment on both the sides. Both the ends are extend indefinitely. We can denote it as A B double arrow. Okay. Last one, plane. A plane is a surface. Okay, plane is a surface such that every line, every line joining a two point, every line joining a two point on lies on it. Example, can give an example here only. You can take a board. Or paper sheets. Okay, you can take any surrounding examples. Okay, so these are the Euclid definitions. Move on to next topic that is axioms. Axioms means the basic facts which are taken for granted without proof. Okay, axioms means you can take any statement without proof. Okay, so there are in Euclid. Axioms. There are some axioms. Okay. Let us discuss one by one. 
The first one is things which are equal to the same things are equal. See, take first two, two any two equal things. So A is equal to B or B is equal to C. These two terms are equal. A is equal to B. B is equal to C. Then or equal to each other. Then that implies A is equal to C. So this is the first axiom. And the second one, if equals are added to equals, if added, if equals are added to equals, take one example. So two is equals to two. Both are equal. Okay. Then you add on both the side any one number, equal number. So two plus three is equals to two plus three. What is the answer? Five is equals to five. You will get answers also equal. Okay. So similarly we can do subtraction also. If equals are subtracted to the equals whole are equal. For example, say 2 is equals to 2. You can subtract on both the side minus 1. Okay? You subtract minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. Here also 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. Okay? So, same if equals are added or if equals are subtracted, you will get a result is also in equal terms. So, the next point, whole is greater than the part. Give an example. So, the one example is, you can take a natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. In these three, which one is highest? Which one contains both the combinations? Can you say? See here, the natural numbers and whole numbers. The combination of these two is what? Integers. Correct? So we can say integer is greater than the natural number or integer is greater than the whole numbers. We can say yes. So that two are the examples of Whole is a greater than the part. And the next point. Things which are double of the same things are equal. Just you take if A is equal to B. A is equal to B. If you double means multiplied by 2. 2A is equal to 2B. Suppose you can take any values of A and B. If you take A is equal to 2, then what is the value of B? B is also 2. What is the right side? 2 into 2 is equal to 2 into 2. What is the result? 4 is equal to 4. You will get result is also equal. Understood? Next, go to next point. The things which are halves, half of the same things are equal. Take any two numbers, A is equal to B, then it's half. Means A by 2 is equal to B by 2. Same, consider A is equal to 2, then what is the value of B? It is also 2. So that implies 2 by 2 is equal to 2 by 2 is equal to 1 is equal to 1. So you will get a result is Result is also equal. So these are the Euclid axioms. Move on to next concept that is statement. What do you mean by statement? A sentence which contains a true or false. Not both. Okay. It contains only true or false. Give an example. Can you take uh, angles and property of a triangle? The angles... This is the sum of angles of triangle is what? How much of triangle is 180? This statement is true or false? It is true. Correct? So it is true. And similarly, the sum of the angles of quadrilateral Quadrilateral is 180. 
then this statement is true or false this is of course this is false what is the correct answer the sum of the angles of quadrilateral is 360 so it is false so the statement any statement it contains uh, any sentence it is true or false okay next thalamus the thalamus is nothing but any statements any statements with the proof with proof so any statements with proof already statement example the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 you can take this as same example for this theorems okay you have a theorem that is the sum of the angles and property of a triangle is 180 you have proof also correct so any statements with the proof is called theorem Okay, the next point is collinear point. The collinear point means what? When you take three or more than three points lies on a same line. See, take hey, this is a line. Okay, three or more points. One A, B, or C, and D. Up to so on. Three or more than three points lies on. Same line means in one single line. The more points are lies on a line, we can call it as collinear point. The next one, intersecting lines. Any two, two lines are intersecting means any two lines have common points. Take two lines, two lines. So A, B. C D A B is a one line and C D is a another one line. These two lines are have common point that is O. This O we can call it as intersecting point. Okay, intersecting point. And the third one is concurrent lines. The concurrent lines also same. Three or more lines. Three or more lines have a common point. Means here the before one only two lines. The next concurrent lines means three or more than three lines are intersecting at same point. See here it is contain three lines. Three or more than three. Okay, A B is a one line, C D is a second line, and E F is third line. These three lines also intersecting at one point. That is O. Like these figures, we can call it as concurrent lines. Okay. The next point is parallel lines. Any two lines, any two lines. You can take any two lines. The two lines. Don't have any common point. Any common point. See, take this one as uh, one line. Sometimes you can write only one single term that is L. This is also indicates a line. Okay? Draw another one line that is M. So L and M are the two lines. And here, is there any intersecting point in these two? No. Means. Here there is no any common point, so we can write it as L is parallel to M. Okay, understood. So next topic is Euclid postulates. The first one postulates is also an assumption, means without proof. So a straight line. may be drawn from any point to any other point means take any two points two points and draw this is the one point and it 
drawn from another point you will get a straight line okay then the second one a terminated line can be produced indefinitely so first you draw a terminated line so this is a terminated line a b can be produced indefinitely it is on both the side or one side you can take any on both the side it is extends indefinitely okay then the third one the circle can be drawn with any center and any radius you can take a radius of 6 cm or 2 cm take radius r is equals to 2 draw a center you can take any way any way you can take a center and take 2 cm and draw a circle okay here this is the center center and from o to r is radius that is 2 cm so you can when you draw a circle you can take any center and any circle and the fourth postulate all right angles are equal to each other this is the fourth one right angles are equal to each other you can take a example of rectangle yes how it is rectangle what is the angles here 90 degree 90 degree 90 and this is also 90 degree here all the angles are equals to each other so angle a is equals to angle b is equals to angle c is equals to angle d here all the angles are right angle triangle and all are equals to each other then the next one fifth postulate see if a straight line if a straight line pass on two straight line see if a straight line falling on two straight line first two straight lines and it's falling on one straight line okay see okay two lines and falling on one straight line makes the interior angles on the same side here which are the interior angles on the same side so this is angle 1 is equals to angle 2 so here 1 and 2 are the interior angles on the same side can you give a names b q a b c d okay see next same side of it taken together less than the two right angles less than the two right angles one right angle is equals to 90 degree then the two right angles makes 180 degree if the two straight lines if you produce indefinitely if a produce indefinitely means left side of this pq interior angles 1 and 2 are the interior angles it's a left side a and c when you produce the indefinitely produce indefinitely meet on the side in these two lines are meet at one point when you produce indefinitely okay on that side on which the sum of angle is less than the two angles so angle 1 plus angle 2 is less than 180 degree so this is the fifth postulate see here the next one equivalent version of euclid fifth postulate see what is this the for every line l <coughs> and for every point p but not lying on l here how many lines are there two lines are there which one one is l another one is p line m okay so draw first a draw a line l for every line l okay 
then for every point p not lying on l means that p point is not lying on l means it is lying on another line that is m so draw one more line that is m and here the point p is lying on m passing through the p and parallel to l see here the m and l are parallel to each other or uh, l uh, for every line l and for every a uh, point p it produces it passing through the p and when you can see these two are parallel and second point so second point two distinct intersecting lines two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line means in this m the m line take two intersecting lines two intersecting lines two distinct intersecting lines so a b and c d a b and c d are the two distinct intersecting lines it cannot be parallel to l it cannot be parallel to l so this is a result of equivalent version of euclid fifth postulates so dear children today we learn about the euclid geometry in that axioms postulates and and in that also equivalent version of the fifth postulates i hope you all have understood today's concept thank you